guys, welcome back to Let's Talk Football. It's match day. Play the intro. Alright guys, it's Leicester versus Liverpool today. I know we lost the previous game, 2-0. I mean, we did play a good half, but we lost. I mean, I mean, I will accept the loss. Oxley Chamberlain was the man of the match. You can see one highlight right here. Hey, it can't be worse than... As you have seen that clip, Oxley Chamberlain is still finding his game, guys. So I can't blame him yet. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, let's jump into team news. Uh, striker Jamie Vardy should be fit for Leicester despite missing the midweek game against Liverpool with a groin strain. Uh, yeah, uh, Jamie Vardy is out and I think we stand a pretty good chance winning the game if he doesn't come back because he can do things like this. What the fuck is this? As you have seen the clip, Jamie Vardy can do things, guys. He actually is a pretty, pretty good striker. News done for Leicester City. Uh, going on to Liverpool's team news. Uh, Lovren is a major doubt for Liverpool having not trained because of a back problem that caused him to miss the last two games. And yeah, uh, he did miss. Uh, I think Lovren, it's like, it's like, all right. I mean, like, he is good and all. He has his moments, you know. He has his moments. That's what I'm gonna say. Uh, Joel Matip and American uh, both sustained knocks uh, last week and they will be assessed. So yeah, uh, that's the team news done for Liverpool. So yeah, uh, just want to know what uh, the, the managers have to say. This is what Craig Shakespeare had to say. In the second half, in the win over Liverpool on Tuesday, uh, he said uh, the response was good and this gives us a lot of confidence for Saturday. Uh, I mean, he, he should be pretty confident if he did win and Slimani scored a beauty of a goal, Okazaki scored a goal. I mean, he should be confident because they are at home and all. So yeah, uh, moving on to Jagan Klopp. Uh, he said, uh, it sounds like we have no points and... <laughs> and <Klopp. laughs> just, just hear what he has to say. It sounds like we have no points and are, and are completely the worst team in the league. I mean, you, I, I, I don't know Jagan Klopp, this is what you are saying. Yes, we have problems. This is why we only have 8 points and not 15. We can make it more serious than it is or we can take it like it is. Alright. I know... Uh, okay, uh, he said... Uh, I I know... Uh, okay, okay, okay. I know already about all these problems or not problems and I have made my decision already how to work with it. Uh, but if I talk a lot about it, I only create headlines and it doesn't help us. Okay. The English was a bit off. My English is also off. my my English is also off. But okay, so this is what Klopp and Shakespeare had to say. Okay, uh, probably I just summarize it for y'all. Uh, Shakespeare is pretty confident in his side. Klopp, it's like uh, if we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. It's like that kind of thing. He knows that there is problems in the team. So what are you gonna do to fix the team? That's what the managers had to say. I am moving on to myself, what I feel about the game, uh, moving the phone aside. Honestly, I feel that Liverpool should action this game 3-1. You know, if, if Wadi comes back, I think Wadi might score. If not, I think I'll give uh, Slimani or Okazaki a goal. I think they might score one. So yeah, 3-1 to Liverpool. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's my opinion. Moving on to some facts. Alright, head to head. Leicester could win three consecutive games against Liverpool for the first time since 1931. Alright, moving on to the second fact. However, the Foxes have only won two of their last 10 Premier League meetings, losing six. Alright. I mean, Leicester is unpredictable, you never know. Moving on to the third fact. Okay, this one is that. Liverpool are without a win in four matches in all competitions but have lost just one of their last seven Premier League away games. And just a side note, we have 87 shots, three goals, zero wins. That's the last four games guys. That's the last four games since Manchester City. Crazy. Crazy. Alright, moving on to the fourth and last fact of today. Um, 
The Reds have 132 points in 73 league games under Jurgen Klopp. Nine points fewer than in the same period under Brendan Rodgers. That means Brendan Rodgers, I mean, did a fairly decent job if you ask me. That's the four facts done for today. Alright guys, that's the wrap for Let's Talk Football. Don't forget to like this video, comment on it and subscribe to my channel. Till then, see you guys soon.